And on first down, hand off to J.J. Taylor for a loss. No one's talking about to the cover of Sports Illustrated is really remarkable. And here's his first carry of the game, and he'll fall forward. Houston rushing four. Tate throws it middle of the field, and it's caught. Sean Poindexter. What a flick of the receiver. He can make any throw out there. That was good for 31. Inside handoff. It's J.J. Taylor and Oliver. I'm in interested to see if Houston's going to change what they normally do. Second and five. Tate just, go, Tate just goes down. Overtime. Five rushing. And in and out of the hands off of Sean Brown. And it is picked off. It's Garrett Davis. At his own 15. And on first down, he's throwing. Sean Brown. Brown able to break one tackle and nearly stay on his feet and gives up. in first and 16. Quick to Shun Brown again, but maybe gets a yard that second and 14 now. Quick throw out to the right. Again, it's Shun Brown. He's able to get out to the 20, let's say, 8-yard. Give Ed Oliver and company something to think about. On the ground, it's Taylor. And the Houston defensive line stands up. Down in coverage. The senior from Houston picks up his second career touchdown. Gary Brightwell gets a long drive to their defense off the field, too. Here's Tate under pressure. And he'll airmail that one coming into this one. So another great ability is his durability. And that was Nession of the quarter. On the ground. Here's Brightwell. Out to the Houston. He seems to give them a little bit of a spark in the run game. It's Brightwell again. And he does have three plays in the first half last week and only had ten points to show for it. Here's Khalil Tate taking a shot of his own. More than anything, they really want to get him going in the run game. Here's Brightwell again. Lowering the shoulder. He's across <laughs> midfield. I've just... Here comes Ed Oliver. Tate able to sidestep him and find Sean Poindexter. And in the play. That's what they're looking from him when they do throw in the passing game. And Poindexter runs a nice route, gets open on the outside, down. But it's all started with Tate movement in the pocket. Back on the ground of Brightwell. They change direction. Take a heavy hit from Roman Brown. Different personalities. That's Brown in motion. Tate running behind him and nothing doing. Lowers the shoulder. He'll absorb. Go. Still looking for our first sack or TFL for today. Third and 12. Into a crowd. Loyal to the soil in Houston. On first down and 10, Khalil Tate comes out throwing. And there's Shun Brown making a few people miss. And it'll bring up second down and shot and one. On the ground, J.J. Taylor squirts through. Sleeping more than ever. He's well rested. And it's obvious this guy's ready to ball in his junior year. Tate able to hook up to Poindexter. They're across midfield. I was about the brother to some extent. Still wanted to play big time football. 23 on that last game. Shun Brown looking to tiptoe. A&M. Someone knows how to make an entrance. Here's Tate throwing pressure from Ed. And now you, you can't execute it. On the ground to J.J. Taylor. Turns the corner for a few before he stepped out of bounds. up to be coached by Kevin Sumlin. These are all Rich Rods products. Brightwell looks up. Tate will pitch to Brightwell. He fumbles it. Able to pick it up. And this play isn't going anywhere. And third and five. On the ground. Taylor is stopped. Has never played in front of as large a crowd as they will sort of go up against tonight in College Station. Jay to help him against that defensive front four. <laughs> no. Those 108,000 fans, they can't come on the field and play, can they? To be that top team from the power and non power five. Super five. Third down and four. Poindexter. Did he bring it down? Who's got possession of the football? His body just gets out with his hands and pulls it in. Going quick is J.J. Taylor. And he's inside the 40. And positive. Gate of 14. It's Taylor again on the ground. Taylor again. To the 40. 
As he tried to rush the football early in the game. Here's Tate throwing. In the end zone. And Sean Brown was there. Tate to Barry Hill. He's got first down yardage. There's a flag. Stanley Noise now on third and 17. Tate just sailed it. Old Barry Hill. They shift out to the left top of the screen. Here comes the pressure. Tate will just throw that away. No. I don't think he's that guy. He's not that guy. And, you know, doesn't feel that way. Some of this, I think, is expected. I mean, Arizona is in a rebuilding, rebuilding phase. They, they have up okay. All right, we'll watch for that as the third quarter opens up. Shun Brown, 60 receiving yards for the game. That's Brown in motion. Handoff is J.J. Taylor. Little stutter step. His nephew. Spree. Yeah. Second down at 11. Here's Khalil Tate throwing, and it's dropped. Drop. That's the way this game started. You could make the argument that Arizona should be behind by more. Tate's just getting rid of that one. Coach has said he's like a hyper 12-year-old. Just the motor never stops. You see here working one-on-one. -on -one. Center does a nice job. McCauley of at least limited. High school rivals now starring for their team. Gary Brightwell, the ball carrier. And Oliver is long gone. And you can kind of focus on football this year. Gary Brightwell. Ball comes out. He's got to practice it's so quick as right. their offense does. And the defense has to sort of experience that as well. It was tough, but it made us better. Take to throw. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. We'll, we'll see. That's if we let Greasy back. Here's Tate to throw. And complete. It's Poindexter able to turn the corner and spin some people around. Poindexter's not done. 120 yards receiving for Poindexter. Quite well. For a few. At this your offensive coordinator in terms of the passing game. Tate to throw. Sideline. Out of bounds. He just wants something positive this year. But if things keep going like this, they're going to sell a lot of beer at home games. Third and seven. Intercepted. It's picked off. It's Garrett Davis. His second. Right now is probably the more consistent player. But Lawrence is healthy this year. It's going to be interesting to see what kind of impact he's going to have. Like a ball field in the background. The nap room. Yeah, the nap room. The barber. Nap. J.J. Taylor, not getting the wake-up call this morning. They must be running rampant. You know, joking around about facilities at Clemson. I'm the, the day, and then go back into the indoor. And I would say the indoor is as nice as any that's really out there. I mean, nicer than even Texas. Universe for Major Applewhite to find with, with Bryles as, as the offensive coordinator and Randy Clements as the offensive line coach and run game coordinator. Move down the field. It's not just football here, either. They're uh, doing an entire an entire renovation of the basketball arena. So they are spending money. He's just trying to turn things around there for the Longhorns. Second and eight. Tate gets out of there. There is a flag down. And it's out of the back of the end zone. Pushing back to the 35. Let's try the ground game with J.J. Taylor. They, they obviously have some offensive firepower. They think they're a little bit better on the defensive side. And then the schedule, like you said, is favorite in terms of his team. You didn't know because two of those starters who were out were game time decisions. And so when, when Scotty Young was not in there at the safety position and when Jace Whitt with the receivers getting open down the field and King being on time, they torched that Arizona secondary in the first quarter and really throughout the first half. Tate throwing on the run. And completing to Poindexter, 34 yards receiving. On the ground, it's Darius Smith. He's become the feature. Game one against BYU didn't go the way you wanted. The first half, disaster here. He's been positive. Maybe I'll watch well, you and McShay play uh, pickup in the parking lot or something. Sounds like a bit of a slacker, only working a half day today. So we appreciate you making the effort. That's a good point on, on Tate that Clark makes because star when he's inserted in the lineup, and you go from being a 
a relative nobody, if you will, in terms of the public knowledge and, and the attention you're getting to what wasn't realized, I think, by the, the masses because of what Tate did is that this is such a young team and they have such a big, it's really tough on the ego, I think. Yeah, I said his pride was hurt. First down and goal, nothing doing there. Khalil Tate's mother told sports majoring in information science in East Society, and he's got some things going on. And nearly had a touchdown pass in it. Probably in more pain, but you should see the way he's running around and, and just the excitement that he's playing with. He doesn't think this thing's over. And a rushing <laughs> touchdown for on. Who's got his helmet strapped up tight? Ed Oliver back in the game. Paul down on the field. Turf over 120. Ed Oliver mad during that last timeout. Wanted to go back in the field, jumping up and down, basically fleeing with. Co didn't think we'd have a big play in this game in the second half. We do. Here's Tate to throw. Incomplete! Tony Ellison to the 10! Tony Ellison! Short of the goal line! First down and goal from the one. On the ground, second effort from Darius Smith. Would be correct. Wow! What a stop! What a stand! Oh, doesn't he? It does. First down and 10. Here's Darius Smith. The ball Someone has something to sell, something positive to take with them on the airplane. We were right in this game, could have had it at the end. And I think the biggest thing is we've seen 14. Got a little pep back in his step. He also was becoming more vocal as a leader, and that's something they're looking for him uh, to become moving forward. With those 40. Second and nine. Tate will throw again. Look at third and nine, chance to keep the dream alive. The blitz, Arizona picks it up. Ball is deflected. Ed Oliver got 